Hello my soccer universe and uh, one last time from Africa before we dive all the way back into the grind that is the domestic club season in many ways but you know I want to do a short review let's see how short it will be and then uh, end it with my usual montage of the tournament. Uh, I think overall it was actually for an Afghan it was not that bad but it had this uh, it was a very very slow burn at the beginning uh, relatively slow paced it never really made it most of the time past mid paced I mean we didn't see uh, that many barn burners but you know I think it started slower than it ended in many ways so uh it was a tournament that actually built up momentum which i think is usually a good sign it was overall a quite enjoyable tournament i was actually you know i always love international soccer uh especially when the club season is so long and so dense it just uh changes up the pace it's also seeing it from a different continent um although it is in a way a negative i want to see this as a positive you know you have not perfect pitches you don't have perfect stadiums you see you have all the drumming you have all the dancing and along um it is a different kind of soccer mainly uh even though it is played in winter climate wise it doesn't allow for much more uh, but it also has 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 it perhaps with 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 the general condition, especially on the pitch, and especially we saw it now uh, semi final final, especially at the Olympia Stadium. Uh, the grass doesn't allow for much better uh, part of play. So yeah, um, as, I, as I said, I mean, it, it started off with a very entertaining opening match and it was a really, the match they won was a, a slow burn, I mean, you know, all one nils, even the occasional nil nil from Algeria, which was a sign to come. Uh, then Cameron again, the host, without being, being convinced, but they kicked it then in the next year with a 4-1 win over Ethiopia. And then I think the uh, tournament reached its first high when Malawi beat Zimbabwe 2-1 because that was an unexpected uh, re result. Unfortunately, most of us didn't really see it, but I think this was the first uh, kind of highlight. Uh, and then came in the way the big bang in the 2-2 between the Ivory Coast and Sierra Leone. And then, of course, Ecuador Guinea defeating Algeria. At that point, the tournament had my full attention uh, and the kick in, in internet in the next gear. Probably the best phase was the end, of, was match day three, so the end of the group stage, um, where then, especially again, Ivory Coast, Al Algeria became this behemoth of, of a game where the huge favorites, Algeria, were pulled, uh, uh, were pulled out. And then also the Gambia beat Tunisia. Tunisia, who had already had very, you know, Remember at the beginning when Tunisia's uh, game was cut short because the referee wanted to go home and he probably suffered heat stroke against Mali. So yeah, uh, there were quite some interesting stories to realize. The, the round of 16 then um, started actually brightly. We got Burkina Faso against Gabon. We got a huge shock with Tunisia beating Nigeria. Um, and then, yeah, what uh, Ca Cameron against Comoros was the game that was overshadowed by unspeakable tragedy of a stampede but uh, which in a way is is doubly sad i mean it's not only the personal tragedy but i think the big tragedy uh, another big tragedy is of course that the valiant performance by comoros no one saw it that the gambia beat in guinea counted nominally as a surprise but to be honest the way the gambia has been playing I, we one could actually see that coming Morocco Malawi, a game of incredible goals, another one that was highly entertaining, and then it kind of fizzled out. From that moment on, then you know the last two were kind of yeah, it was all penalty shoot, shoot, although at least a memorable one. Like the first one, this was the last one between Mali and Equatorial Guinea. Um, then quarterfinals. I think this was where the tournament in a way peaked, uh, with a rather. You know, the goals were scored and the uh, games were kind of level. And I think the big peak was in the semifinal between Senegal and Burkina Faso. And from that moment on, uh, two nil nils and a third place playoff that no one was watching and all ended in penalty shoot out. So yeah, I kind of gave you already a, a, with just a quick summary of the, of, of, of the tournament event, um, a big... Uh, rundown of positives and negatives in the tournament 
I would say we look at individual team performances as well. I usually, I, as, as I did with the Euros and other tour tournaments, if you've been following my blog, uh, I've done that the before. I give kind of the grades of the individual team performances based on pre-tournament probabilities. And so what I did is I took all the probabilities for each, uh, reaching each particular stage in a tour tournament. Then if um, for each uh, team based on their um, uh, draw and of course uh, based on the rating. And then you can see, okay, this is how uh, probable it is that they reach the final, that they reach the quarterfinal round, round, round 16, finish dead last in the group. And then I look, what's the probability of exceeding this performance that they actually finished on? And then the probability or the chances or uh, that they had pre-tournament of falling short of that performance, so doing worse. And then basically I did the one, um, I did probability of doing worse minus probability of exceeding. And that gives you a performance measure, which you have here uh, next to. And then I try to uh, convert it into a letter grade and we see the winner Senegal have the highest rating, which is usually what happens unless uh, there's a huge, huge, huge upset. Ecuador and Guinea region quarterfinals and the Gambia also, yes, work sort of minor upsets. So those two are ranking higher. So this is kind of the relative performance. Senegal, the highest, Ecuador, Guinea and Gambia based on the expectation, second and third, respectively, uh, the Gambia because uh, their draw was a, a teeny bit easier. Uh, and the top tier is rounded out by Burkina Faso up there, uh, Egypt and Comoros. So those uh, teams did really, really, really well. And I mean, Comoros with a round of 16 uh, showing, being in the top grade shows you how sm small a team Comoros are. Malawi just not yet there again, slightly, slightly easier around, uh, but you know, also pretty amazing Malawi are uh, in the round of 16. Cameroon, Tunisia rounding out the the bees in, in in a way I would say this is a performance slightly better than expected but uh, satisfactory in many ways. Then C's is more or less performing as expected. This is Sudan finishing in third place. Sierra Leone also finishing in third place but not making it out of, of the group. Gabon, Cape Verde, Morocco, Guinea. Yeah, all there. Morocco is really right at the point yeah, quarterfinal, you could have reached a little bit more. Yeah, it's pretty much where we uh, expected you to be, especially given how uh, rough the lower part of the draw was anyway uh, shaping up to be. And then we go get, getting into disappointments, which are Mali, the Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Nigeria, really such a great group stage. And then boom, against Tunisia, gone they were. Uh, Ethiopia, Mauritania, you know, the rest is all the teams that now finished last in the group. They always have a disadvantage. So you are automatically uh, kind of low down, down there. But uh, really, really low, of course, um, Ghana and Algeria. Uh, both of which have to count as the disappointments of the tournament. And Algeria were the pre-tournament favorites. I need not say more. So that was kind of my uh, review and grading of the teams. And as I said, I want to leave you now with a little montage to relive the tournament once, once again to see the wonderful jersey matchups, or not so wonderful in terms of Senegal <laughs> against uh, uh, Cape Verde. Um, but other than that, a little taste of the AFCON in 22 in Cameroon. And I will see you on the other side.
hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and yeah then another fcom will be coming soon and we have other international tournaments coming up namely the world cup where cup coverage will be even deeper in any case i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!